The Colosseum is an amphitheater built in Rome under the Flavian or Flavian, who knows, certainly not me, emperors of the Roman Empire. It is also called the Flavian or Flavian Amphitheater. It is an elliptical structure made of stone, concrete, and tough. Who knows what tough is? Again, certainly not me. And it stands four stories tall at its highest point. Hello there. Welcome into this video. As you can see, I'm just doing a little bit of research so we can talk about this, this beautiful, wonderful, incredible, magnificent, four-story tall, built of tough Flavian or Flavian building in Civilization VI. If you guys like other four-story tall elliptical structures that are made of stone, concrete, and tough, you might be interested in our Discord server, which is definitely all of those things. In this wonderful Discord server, we have general chats, we have civ chats, we have stream and YouTube discussions, we have a, a, a whole channel where you can put your video ideas for a YouTube video. It's just a great place to be, a great place to hang out. There's over 300 people in here. It's a party. Join the Discord server. What are you doing? That link is in the description. Go Oh, click it. Much like the Oracle, which we did a video on a little while back, the Colosseum is an amazing wonder that you should be looking to get in a lot of your Civilization games if it is possible. And we're just going to do a little bit of a chat today to make sure that you guys have all the information you need to make the best use of this wonder in your Civilization VI games. Like all wonders, we need to start in the tech or civic tree, wherever you unlock this thing, to talk about whether it's worth it, what the opportunity cost is, etc, etc, etc. I'm sure it's all just very scintillating stuff I could have kept talking about. In the civics tree, you can find the Colosseum here at Games and Recreation. This is not a bad place for this wonder to be. Obviously, in the civics tree, you are mostly always beelining towards political philosophy, but you will need as many district options as possible, and this comes in a good spot. Once you get here, maybe you want political philosophy first, maybe you want drama and poetry first, right, to get your theater squares down. If you have an early wonder, maybe you grabbed a Toa or an Oracle, and you have a good early theater square that you're looking to get right away but coming up to games and recreation honestly doesn't really feel like too bad of a deal in most games it doesn't feel like you're wasting time coming up here in most of my games i typically make sure i get political philosophy first the value of having a government is usually more than the value of theater squares or entertainment complexes early on but hey here we are games and recreation if you come up here and you do not get the coliseum which is usually the calculation we're trying to make is it worth it to kind of beeline this spot on the tech tree to get the wonder if you come up to games and recreation and you do not end up with the coliseum you did not go wildly out of your way to, to come up to games and recreation so overall in the tech tree it's in a great spot and it's not it's not too far out of the way it's not inconvenient it's not somewhere where if you come all the way up here and you don't get the coliseum you're like man i just wasted all that time and all that culture coming up to games and recreation i would say if you had to like beeline you know if we if you were in the tech tree and you had to beeline uh square rigging then that might feel really bad if there was a wonder here you had to beeline and you didn't get the wonder because then you missed out on a bunch of important stuff but in the in the culture tree here kind of at the beginning hitting of games and recreation does not feel too bad at all so it's in a great spot so points for the coliseum for being in a good spot on the civic tree. next up we we have our friend here the handy dandy civlopedia to actually tell us what this bad boy does i feel like we need a civ song for the civlopedia you know dora the explorer has like backpack backpacker i'm the map i'm the map on them. I just feel like we need a Civlopedia version of that. So if you guys have any ideas, feel free to chuck them in the comments below. But let's search the Colosseum and see what we come up with. Well, the Colosseum stands, Rome shall stand. When the Colosseum falls, Rome shall fall. When Rome falls, the world shall fall. That sounds dreadful and prophetic and dreadful and prophetic. Okay, so what does this thing actually do? Why should we build it? Why should we care? The Colosseum provides two of the following, culture and loyalty per turn, which is awesome, and amenities to each city center within six tiles. So this means, much like the Petra, the Petra can be anywhere from really bad to really good, depending on how many tiles you have that it, it affects it. The Colosseum can be anywhere from like, eh, pretty decent to just hands down, amazing, incredible, one of the best wonders in the game, depending on how many cities are 
within six tiles of the Colosseum. So placement matters a lot with the Colosseum. So we're going to make sure we look for good places to build this thing. The bottom bit of this description might be really easy to sweep under the rug and not really care about, but it is important. Must be built on flat land and adjacent to an entertainment complex with an arena. So there's lots of infrastructure here. So let's talk about the flat land part first. The flat land part, pretty easy. You're going to have a lot of flat land in your game. That's not a huge deal. Next to the entertainment complex with an arena part is a little bit more complicated. Entertainment complexes, we're doing a video on those shortly, but entertainment complexes work best if they're near theater squares and whatnot. So you have more to keep in mind than just flatland tiles when you're building your entertainment complexes. Obviously in this game, we got the best of all worlds. We have an entertainment complex in between two theater squares and we still have a flatland tile to build your Colosseum. But with this info infrastructure requirement, it can be a bit cumbersome, right? If you're building your entertainment complexes for the Colosseum, but that means they're not hitting a lot of theater squares, that's not ideal. If you're bu building your entertainment complexes for the theater squares, but you don't have a flatland tile, that might mean you might miss out on the Colosseum. So there's a level of planning here that can be a little bit annoying, but just something you should keep in mind when you're building the Colosseum, because we like to talk about these build requirements, whether they're easy, whether they're hard, something like the Oracle just needs to be built on any hill, amazing. Something like the Colosseum is in the middle there's an infrastructure requirement we need a district with a building in it which is a lot of work so that work has to be worth it and again is it worth it if we do all the work and don't get the Colosseum that's something we have to take into account so we have to do some work got to put an entertainment complex down and build an arena that costs production that costs time so there's effort there also we want the entertainment complex we put down since we're putting it down early in the game to be as good as possible so ideally it's going in a space that has a, bun a bunch of cities nearby but also that has a couple of spots for theater squares so this this entertainment complex uh, complex placement is kind of the best of all worlds but i'm going to say this is like not the easiest requirement ever but not too difficult certainly nothing that makes it not worth building it's just good to know that if you're going to put this early entertainment complex down to try for the Colosseum, you should be prepared to not get the Colosseum just in case. So make sure your entertainment complex has at least a couple of spaces for some theater squares, maybe a couple of cities nearby. So if you do build that stadium, you still get that amenity bonus. Um, but yeah, the, the infrastructure is a little bit annoying here, but nothing so terrible that we're not going to try and build the Colosseum when we can. Quick side note to say that out of all the things Firaxis could have put in an entertainment complex, they went with soccer and jousting if anyone has listened if anyone's done the buzz buzzfeed quiz on the top two most entertaining things in the world that happen in complexes soccer and jousting definitely number one and two respectively one of the nice things about this requirement though is you can't not meet it if that makes sense like they, they, they come in the same part of the tech tree so if you have access to the coliseum to build you also have access to the entertainment complex and the arena so it's all kind of nicely bundled in one spot it would be really annoying if the coliseum was up here but the entertainment complex and arena was down here and you had to do a bunch of loop de loops around the tree to find it all at least the requirements are nice and compact in one kind of section in games and recreation you got the coliseum but the entertainment complex and the arena you need are there as well so it's all nicely bundled up in one spot now, throughout the last couple of months, just during the Frontier Pass, amenities, how amenities work, what amenities do in general, have been buffed a little bit to make them more important in your game. Since the Colosseum, the main thing it functions as is a way to provide multiple amenities to multiple cities, right? If amenities get better, Colosseum gets better with it. As you can see in this game here, in the time of your life, we have 14 amenities out of nine. We're ecstatic. We have plus 20% growth plus 20% yields. A lot of this is from the Colosseum. We are getting 11 amenities from entertainment right now, which is absolutely incredible. So if done correctly, the Colosseum can absolutely really help you boost through this game. Getting 20% of 299 gold, 20% of 130 culture, 20% of 97 production. These are not insignificant numbers. I'm now thinking that the 20% might actually be part of this number, and it is. Anyways, getting 20% of whatever number was there to get to 130 or to get to 97 or to get to 299 is still really important important so effective use of the Colosseum here can really buff up your yields during the game and can, and can give you that little bit of an edge as you approach trying to win your games a little earlier trying to beat the AI on higher difficulties so proper use very important but the Colosseum is very very powerful 
the next thing we need to talk about is the six tile radius you want as many cities as possible to get the benefit from the Colosseum. Now, there aren't many games where the Colosseum isn't really worth building. There are some games where it's not worth rushing, right? If you can get it, it's great. If you can't, you're not gonna worry about it. But what is the number of cities that you should have being affected by the Colosseum to make it worth building? Remember, it needs to be worth building the entertainment complex, building the arena, then building the Colosseum. So in this game right here, we have one, two, three. That's one extra city. Remember, you're always gonna get it in the city you build it in, so we're not gonna count this one. We have one extra city one two three four that's two extra cities one two three four five that's three extra cities whoops sorry apostle oh god what is happening everything's falling apart one two three four five six that's four extra cities so right now our coliseum is hitting four extra cities giving us a total of uh we're always going to get the two amenities but it is giving us a total of two four six eight ten amenities which is absolutely incredible it's also giving us an extra eight culture with these four cities which can be very very helpful early on at the point in the game where you build the coliseum eight culture is like half your culture or a third of your culture so getting an extra eight culture here is absolutely massive also having loyalty in these cities right if you go up and down golden ages through dark ages right having like four extra cities so five in total but four extra cities getting that plus two loyalty can be really really nice it makes it so almost all of these cities with a governor and with a unit in if we were to hit a dark age at some point and there was another sieve maybe close by it might give us that extra edge in not losing our cities which can be the difference between having a really fun time and a really good game of sieve or a really bad time and a really terrible game of sieve so Overall, I would say this. I think an extra three cities with four cities in total is a great number to build the Colosseum. If you can build the Colosseum, provided you got a good entertainment complex, you can build the arena, you can build the Colosseum, and it's going to get your original city, which it'll obviously always get the one you built it in. And three extra cities, I would say that's a great Colosseum. Four extra cities for five total is just amazing. That doesn't happen too often. If you're playing a tall game, I think your threshold is a little lower, right? Tall games, you're going to have a lower amount of cities, which means less opportunities to get amenities from luxury resources in a lot of cases it means you're less likely to build on multiple continents less likely to get more luxury resources you'll be more reliant on trade for your amenities so the Colosseum, i think in taller games right you have a little more leeway it's more worth it than in, in wider games where you have lots of cities on multiple continents and lots of ways to get amenities so overall i think if you're hitting three extra cities that's great four extra cities isn't amazing and depending on the game two extra cities might be worth it especially in a tall game but I, I i'm gonna say if your coliseum is only gonna hit the main city you build it in and one other city then it's probably not worth building although keeping in mind that advice isn't always true like any advice with civ it's a complicated game there are lots of situations if you have one city that's just an absolute powerhouse right if you were to build a coliseum in the greatest civilization and that was the difference between being happy and ecstatic and you could get that extra 20 percent bonus the 374 gold to 130 science maybe that would be worth building there as that would add up throughout the whole game but i'd say vb's general guidelines is going to be two extra cities three total if you're playing a tall game three extra cities four total for just your average ordinary game of civ to build a really good coliseum and then if you can get four extra cities five total that is just holy you've just built an amazing coliseum just incredible while keeping in mind there are the niche situations where it might be worth building anyways the coliseum is a pretty simple wonder and i think that's most of what i have to say on the topic i think the main things to keep in mind we just talked about the number of cities that's a huge thing to keep in mind with regard to placement i think the biggest thing to think about is making sure that this entertainment complex is going to function whether or not you can get the coliseum there's always the chance that the coliseum gets taken away the higher your difficulty goes, the less chance you are going to have to build it. I have noticed that since the Atemanonki has been put in the game, the AI loves to rush the Atemanonki. And because the AI has one more thing to rush early on that they do like to rush, I find the Colosseum to have been more available recently. But just keep in mind, higher difficulties, you're going to be able to get this wonder less and less as you go up the difficulties. And getting an early entertainment complex can be really, really tragic if you don't get the Colosseum. If you get an entertainment complex that 
doesn't have a, a function otherwise, whether that's theater squares or something else. The problems you run into are you ha you only have so much population. In your early cities, you might have four population enough for two districts, and you you get a lot of districts early on. You got campuses and holy sites and encampments and commercial hubs, theater squares. You got all this stuff going on, government plazas. If you are building an entertainment complex early on, it means you are not building those other districts. You're not going to have a high enough production to build a lot of districts. You're not going to have an a high enough population to even have the ability to build loads of districts. So there's a huge cost in the game to building entertainment complexes early. So if you are in any doubt about whether you or not you can build the Colosseum, make sure the entertainment complex you're putting down can at least be functional to help mitigate that risk a little bit. Otherwise, I think you're good to go. I just wanna point out in this video just how powerful this wonder can be. It is single-handedly giving me ecstatic in a lot of these cities, boosting all of their yields by 20%, which is a huge boost up here. Obviously, that's combined with an entertainment complex that's combined with luxury resources, but it, it, it can be just so powerful and one of the things the Colosseum is really good for is it just helps with any victory condition it giving you amenities keeping your empire happy gives you a boost to all your yields so if you have good campuses it'll give you a bigger boost to your science yields if you have good theater squares it's giving you a boost to your culture if you have good harbors or commercial hubs it's giving you a boost to your gold right so what's great about the the Colosseum much like the Oracle is it's pretty customizable it's just going to give you a benefit to whatever you're already doing and whatever you're already Already doing is presumably good for your victory condition which is great so the Oracle and the Colosseum are very similar I think the opportunity cost of the Colosseum is lower so I don't rate it in that S tier I'm gonna rate it in the a B plus a ish tier for most games whereas I think Oracle is S tier just because there's no really build requirements other than Hills I think there's a huge cost here for the entertainment complex if you don't get it Otherwise, though, you should build this in a lot of your games when you can. I think it's great. I think it really, really helps out with amenities, which have been more important recently in Civ. And, and you know what? That's a change of opinion for me. Amenities weren't something I always appreciated throughout the Frontier Pass. They've made some changes to them, which have made them a little bit better and, and something you should take a little more seriously, thus making the Colosseum better as well. In any case, if you have any further questions about the Colosseum or you think I missed something, feel free to let me know in the comments. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Say thank you to Anvars in the comments as well for editing the video. Make sure you check the description for the Twitch link and the Discord link, both fun places to hang out and just say hello. Otherwise, just thank you so much for watching. Have fun building the Coliseum in your Civ 6 games, and we will see you in the next one.